two Prince George's County Parks, Medieval Dragon Playground at South Bowie Community Center and Woodland Wonderland Playground in Capitol Heights have elevated levels of potentially toxic lead. It's in the crumb rubber ground mats made from recycled tires that kids run on and touch, according to new testing by Michigan-based lab, The Ecology Center. We conducted uh, over 100 analysis on the samples that we collected and we identified two parks, uh, Woodland Wonderland and Medieval Dragon, that had levels of lead that were of concern in the port and place playgrounds. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says any children's toy with 100 parts per million of lead can be toxic. The U.S. EPA says any ground where kids play on with more than 400 parts per million is hazardous. While Medieval Dragon Playground had crumb rubber testing at more than four times that EPA limit, the Ecology Center lab test found crumb rubber sheds at Woodland Wonderland Park nearly 12 times the EPA limit, 4,750 parts per million. We took those findings to parents watching their children play at Woodland Wonderland Playground. As a father, what do you think about that? Well, you know, it's, uh, nobody would have told me anything about this. And having a young daughter, she's two, um, you know, just knowing that there's potential for harming her just from places that she plays, it just makes me feel awful. This came across as almost 4,700. Oh, my God. That's another layer of, of fear. So, yeah, that's, that's crazy. We had gathered crumb rubber samples at parks all around the D.C. metro area. Out of seven parks we sampled, those two Prince George's County parks were the only ones that had elevated lead levels according to tests. Last year, WSA 9 broke news about dozens of D.C. public school playgrounds that tested as having similarly elevated levels of potentially toxic lead. It impacts learning, behavior, and has a wide range of impacts on children that we want to minimize all exposures. Prince George's Parks took immediate action once we gave them the test results by the Ecology Center. It closed both playgrounds. The county will pay for additional testing. It also announced 45 other playgrounds will remain open, but tested as well for lead in their crumb rubber. Prince George's County Park spokesperson says that when installed, these services complied with all health and environmental standards. Now, this is a developing story, and our investigative team is digging into where exactly this potentially toxic lead is coming from. Nathan Baca, WUSA 9.